hazards this time of year for people's homes and one of the reasons why you should hire an electrician is because there's a lot of training that goes into becoming an electrician it takes four or five years in the state of New Hampshire to become an electrician and there are reasons for that and generators in particular are one of the jobs that seem like homeowners want to do it but probably shouldn't Right. Uh, something like hanging a light, your average homeowner can do it. Something like wiring a generator, it's really outside of the scope of what uh, an average homeowner is able to do. And there are several different hazards that we'll talk about as we go along. But one of the other factors is that it's actually illegal to work on electricity in New Hampshire unless you're in your own house. If you're in your own house, it's not against the law. But if you're hiring your brother-in-law to do it right. or having a buddy to come over, there are legal implications as well. Okay. So what are some of the dangers, as you mentioned, of you know taking that responsibility possibly amongst ourselves? What are some of the dangers that could happen if, if we decide that we think that we can do it? Sure. There are several different dangers, and one is that one of the biggest dangers is that sometimes when people will uh, wire a generator to their house, they will skip the most important part, which is the transfer switch. And one of the reasons why we skip that is because it's expensive. And so there are ways to wire my generator to my house that make it work technically right. that are very dangerous. And one of the dangers is that I can backfeed power and hurt alignment okay. uh, or backfeed it into the system. Another one of the dangers tied into that is that when power comes back on, we can have electricity coming from two different directions. So it causes a blow up or a fire in my home. So there's danger to myself if I don't know what I'm doing. There's danger to my family. There's danger to linemen, and there's danger to my property. Right. Uh, so those are a number of the hazards, and uh, again, it's the transfer switch that is the key. That there are legal ways to do it, and there are illegal ways to do it. Both work, but one is dangerous and one is not. And something I'm frequently telling my customers when it comes to the different products that you can buy for a transfer switch, they make it idiot-proof. So if I make a mistake, or if my brother-in-law comes over to help me, and he makes a mistake, nothing bad happens. It just won't work. So it'll only work one way. Right, and I think it's so important that you um, do take the steps to protect your family and even the people public service that are out there doing their job um, to do the right thing. And, and even though people say, I wanna save some money, in the long run, if you hurt somebody, it's not even worth it. So um, so is that like the biggest thing that you're dealing with now is, is installing generators? It's in the fall okay. and a little bit in the winter. It's one of our primary one of our primary projects. And another thing that a homeowner wants to watch out for is that uh, you wanna make sure that you're pulling a permit with your local okay. town or municipality. Uh, and depending on the kind of project that it is, it may involve the fire department, it may just involve the electrical inspector. So there's two things. One, you wanna make sure that you're using a licensed electrician okay. and uh, they're the only ones that can pull a permit or the homeowner. And then you wanna make sure that you're getting a permit on. Great. Well, I think that that's all really good information to have specifically with this time of year that, that we're dealing with and power does go out very easily when we have bad snowstorms. So um, wiring is not a hobby. If you're going to do it, hire an electrician. Thank you very much for being here, Evan. Thank you, Gail. I appreciate it. 